Hey everyone, it's me. I'm about to go. I'm in the car. I'm about to head on out. Uh, this is going to be the start of another video of to do with flying. I wanted to take uh, a panda flying and I was going to do the New York flight for them straight away. Um, but I almost forgot to check my night currency, which currently is a big no no. Can't take passengers at night flying unless you have. 90 days I'm out, so I'm gonna, you know, three, four night, four stop landings to a complete stop. I'll be okay. So, that's what today's flight is gonna be all about. Catch you later in the plane. Set up. I just met the pilot who went out before me in the R2. He just got back. Said it was nice to see him. And um, no one else is here, so we should be nice and easy. Right now, um, like before. The, the audio is coming from the camera ahead of me. Soon as I turn the engine on, um, it's gonna switch to this camera that picks up the audio. So I will do my best to pair it up and match it up. I do have my overcasters, like I was saying, but I'm not planning to use them. Why? Because I don't have a safety pilot with me. I'm on my own. Just because I've been doing my instrument training, so... I've had them with me. So you, um... To give a brief recap, for night flights, you want to try and avoid white lights, you don't want to look at anything, you want to preserve as much as possible your night vision, you don't want anything to mess that up, because you just make it hard yourself. So yeah, although there's a bright white light behind me, I am not, I'm trying to avoid looking at it. And and I forgot to and if you have an iPad you're gonna want to do the same so I'm gonna have to readjust the map to night flight so it the full flight looks like this at night instead of the normal Okay, so let's go ahead and okay, I can reach the pedals. I need the shoulder harness. So it should be nice and simple. All I'm doing is So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on right now. I'm going to turn my noise cancellation on. Okay, that's good. Scratch pad. Clear. The TAF and meter looks like it's going to be normal, so it's um, everything looks good. So pre-flight hubs check hubs seatbelt checks whether your master switch off. Yep. Starting engine master switch on master switch on. 
anti collision light is already on fuel pump on pressure is good mixture rich circuit breakers are definitely good I wanted to double check that climb is locked keys are here Quarter, one quarter inch on the pump. One, two, clear pop. Radio master switch on. Okay, so the audio should have switched from this one to this one now. Oil pressure, temperature, oil pressure is good. Fuel pump off, fuel pump is off, pressure is still good, pressure, oil pressure is still good. Cockpit lights as required, radio meshes on standby. We want altitude, that's on altitude. We are on COM2 So let's get the weather if we can Brown Airport, further information available on flight service frequencies, fires initial contact, human information, bravo. Ten Airport information, bravo, 0051 Zulu, wind 1004, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 16, 2.7, altimeter 3030. Visual approach, runway 6 in use, notice as to airmen. Runway 6, center line lights out of service, taxiway echo north of runway 24 is closed, runway 6, surface irregular, 5G notams in effect, Brown Town Airport, further information available on flight service frequencies, fires initial contact, human information, Bravo. Town Airport information, Bravo, 0051 Zulu, wind 1004, visibility 10, sky clear below 12,000, temperature 16, 2.7, altimeter 3030. There's approach, runway 6 in use. Notice says to airmen. Runway 6, center line lights out of service. Taxiway echo north of runway 24 is closed. Runway 6, surface irregular. 5G notams in effect, Brown Town Airport. Further information available on flight service frequencies. Fires initial contact, human information, Bravo. Okay, we have Bravo. Okay, let's see. Allentown clearance, wire 83207. FedEx 1664, stand by, let me pull it up. Cherokee, call and stand by, I'll be back with you in a second. That was this. Fedex 
Cook, 1664 Heavy, Allentown Clearance, cleared to Indianapolis Airport as filed. Maintain 3000, expect level 3401, zero minutes after. Departure frequency 124.45, Xbox 3347. Sixteen six four of you read back, correct? Cherokee three two zero seven out town sir request. And I was looking to do some pattern work. Uh, Warrior two zero seven. For two zero seven, squawk zero four zero zero, and you have it as Bravo. Regular. Affirmative. I have information Bravo and squawk in zero four zero zero. Two zero seven Roger, advise rate taxi. Ready to taxi from Hanna 5 to the active runway. Cherokee 8 on town ground, runway 6, taxi via Charlie Bravo, hold short, runway 6. Runway 6 via Charlie Bravo, hold short, runway 6, Warrior 207. the uh, wind direction because it on uh, the meter it says fire variable the wind kept changing Like a commercial aircraft, from what I heard. I'm gonna take things nice and slow. I would like to do an on of approach, but I am. Um, my main goal is just to just to get knocked these out. And the benefit is, is if you do the night currency flight uh, landing requirements, you reset the day ones automatically. So it's better on your budget and your wallet if you just uh, do these. Uh, do these to save you time having to go out and do the day ones. Yeah, Panda, if you're watching these videos, I this is hopefully something that I can encourage you to enjoy with me. There is no other feeling with it. I was like, oh, I, you know, I can take you out flying, show you New York City, and it's like, yeah, that's good, that's all nice and good. And then I checked, it was like, oh, damn, I would have got any trouble if I went. So that's why I'm here tonight.
And um, she actually asked a good question on the way. Um, Panda was like saying, uh, does anyone watch you? Like, how do you, um, how does anyone know what you're doing? Or if you do, they stop and go. And um, I mean, the tower, you're always talking to ATC, and you're always talking to the tower and stuff like that. But um, honestly, it's just an honor system. The, um, there's nothing to gain by cheating the system, cheating you. So, um, and it's, I mean, the reason why... I mean, the reason why we do these every 90 days in coming... 3207, cross runway 24 on Bravo, then turn right on Alpha and hold short of 3-1. Cross runway six at oh sorry, cross runway two four at Bravo and then right on Alpha and hold short of runway three one two zero seven. Right to one, clear left, clear right. I mean currently the tower, the big building that we pass on our right, and that's who's talking to us. Is watching over us and telling us what to do. Turkey 207, cross runway 31, taxi runway 6, full length. Cross runway 31, taxi runway 6, full length, warrior 207. Clear left, clear right. But the what I'm what I'm trying to say in messing that up is just that there is absolutely no reason to cheat yourself and lie because it's all about keeping consistency, keeping safety, and like um, if we don't go flying after a while, we do get rusty. There's an uh, association called Rusty Pilots that my club is working with AOPA. Um, there's an event that they're going to be having. Uh, and it's true, like, like, my flight schedule of my school has been messed up for so long and uh, I went flying for the fir uh, first time in a while last Sunday and I mean, it was okay and everything, but you know, like, for the first five minutes it's all about shaking off the rust and getting back to where you were. So, um, even though I've been flying, I've got hundreds of hours flying, um, just because I haven't gone flying in two weeks or so, like, my skills were diminished, so, I wanted to, like the reason why we do this is making sure we're proficient. So if we take our loved ones and family members and our friends that we want to share the flying with, it's all about making sure that we're making ourselves safe for you. Um, it's all about I mean while we're on our own, it doesn't matter if we kill ourselves, I mean, well it does, but it, it doesn't matter as much. If I want to act like an idiot, fine, I'm only, it's only the plane and myself that I hurt. But if we take someone, or if we take someone else's loved ones, family, then uh, that's a different story. So it's all about safety, you know, prioritize. And so, although there's really no one particularly watching, the guy in the tower could care less if I do three full stop landings or not. It's just a matter of principle, and uh, it's it's all about of a trust. Okay. Okay, let's pre-flight, uh, run up check, parking brakes don't need, I'm on the throttle, no one is around us, clear left, clear right, no one is around us, on the key, up to 2000.
Duck cheat myself, make sure it's 2,000. Drop observed. Okay, carb heat on. Drop observed. Amp is good. Suction is good. Back down to a thousand. Like all these little checks, all these checklist items is all about safety. Sure we like flying, but nothing is better. Engine gauges are good, it's all in the green. Airspeed is set to zero, attitude is straight and level. Uh, attitude is in set within 75 feet of elevation, turn corner is straight and level. We have an HSI, VSI is level, good. Uh, there, use selector. Ground, Pedic 53. Heavy, you ready, taxi with Bravo. 6-12-3-3, be on town ground, runway 6, taxi via Alpha. Okay. On runway 6, uh, via Alpha, Pedic 53, heavy. Turkey 207, how much longer do you need for a run up there? No much, I'm just about to switch to uh, tower frequency and request uh, takeoff. Good. Tower Cherokee, uh, Warrior 83207, runway 6, hold in short, ready for takeoff. Remember 83207, Allentown Tower, make left traffic, report midfield, runway 6, cleared for takeoff. Report left field, uh, runway 6, clear for takeoff, left traffic, report midfield, Warrior 270. No center lane lights, because that's what we heard on the radio. Peace is a lie. There is only six. Passion. Six in the center. Through passion, I gave. I gave. Two thousand. Three green. Off the brakes, heels to the floor. Full power. Airspeed is alive. Separation, runway six. Cleared for the option, wind one one zero six. Clear for the option. Warrior two says M and caution wake turbulence. Okay, there's twenty four. Fourteen hundred is pattern attitude. Yeah, I see him.
like I said, it's really easy to spot traffic. The truth is, I've been doing so much I, uh, instrument training. I haven't done proper pattern work or touching goals in ages, months. Okay, everything's good. Contact departure, we'll see you. Clinic 1253, heavy going departure, we'll see you. 19. Right on. First notion of laps. So this, to count, has to be a full stop, landing like a complete stop, and then take off again. Okay, we made the one way. Power to idle. Six 
1664 Heavy on town ground, runway 6, taxi to Alpha. Okay, stop and go, clean up. Full stop. 2000. Three green, all the hills are full, full power. Airspeed is alive. Heavy, it's ready, runway 6. Critic 1664, Avion Town Tower, fly runway heading, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, runway 6, clear for takeoff, Critic 1664, Heavy. Cherokee 207, same as before, report the heavy Airbus 306 departure in sight. Watch out, we'll report the departure in sight, Y 207. The traffic inside Warrior 207. Warrior 207, caution wake turbulence, maintain visual separation. Runway 6, clear for the option. Wind 1204. Caution wake turbulence and open. I clear for the option, Warrior 207. Now, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I'm just going to do the three double goes. Okay, there's the aircraft taking off on the runway that I'm seeing. I know you guys may not be able to see much. Sixteen sixty four heavy contact departure will see. Hello, Connect Six and Six Four Heavy. So I'm gonna give myself a four out of ten for that landing. I got a little bit slow, but I uh, was okay. I landed on the center way. Because it screwed me up on the final, I, I turned too soon. Because they gave me an extra 100 foot, a um, pan attitude is 1400, I went up to just 1500 because it's night time and I, just what I like. Okay, there's the end of the runway. descending at all. There we go. Okay, I see the rabbit. Much better. Clear left.
just like driving at night in the sky. And I tell you the. I need to take some pictures of my phone. Uh, second. Fl Downtown Tower, Gold Street 450, Charlie Visual, Roy 6. Gold Street 450, Charlie on Town Tower, Roger, report to base turn, number 2, follow Cherokee on a 2 mile funnel. Report to base, Zero Charlie looking. Okay, plenty above, so I'm going to stop the descent a little bit. Clear away. I cut the corner slightly, but that's much better. I wonder when they're going to get the center line fixed. I mean, the center line for 2416 has been down for like months, if not years. And no, that's not a gripe, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Even at the start of my initial training, it was like the, when we were doing night flights, the center line was out, so I'm like, alright, so keep pointing down, trim up. Nose down, butter left. the throttle and the speed goes down or up without me doing anything. Alright, uh, we got three notch flaps. Gulfstream Zero Whiskey Charlie, if you could slow it up a bit, traffic's still about a half mile final. Alright, and uh, we're just turning the base here now, uh, looking for that traffic switch. Charlie. Number 207, unable to stop and go on the option. Roger that, I'll go around right now, Why 207. Reserve Whiskey Charlie, runway 6, clear land. Clear land, runway 6 to traffic, site source Charlie. Thanks. 207, uh, you could have done a touch and go, but that's fine. Uh, just make left traffic at your discretion. Roger that. Left uh, traffic at my discretion, Warrior 207. Positive right. I know I could have done stop and go, but... Point of this is to well, it's good anyway to get practice, even over. Tight. 
Stream, Zero Whiskey Charlie, turn right, safe parking. Right turn here at Echo and Hangar 9 for Zero Whiskey Charlie. Remember Zero Whiskey Charlie, taxi via Alpha Juliet, cross runway 31. Alpha Juliet, cross 31 with you, Zero Whiskey Charlie. Cherokee 207, runway 6, cleared for the option. Runway 6, cleared for the option, 207. was getting down low too again. Okay. There's not some flaps in the white arc. Allen Tunnel, Archive Beta, Charlie Colonel, Terminus 3030. Five hundred feet descent. Clear, right? Second arch of flaps. above the glide slope, which is good for night time anyway. This is in knots, not miles an hour door. Make right traffic for midfield. Right traffic, report midfield, wire 27. This will be a full stop. Pardon?
record in a video. <laughs> nah. Town Tower, check of wire 207 is midfield. Check 207, runway 6, clear to land. Runway 6, clear to land, to wire 207. Hi, Pix, how's the game on? Maybe it's just practice. Fight out. Laps, everything is good. Clear left, clear right. Flip it. I don't cut. Take a notch of flaps. Good. Third notch of flaps. Butter to the full. Exactly what I wanted. Purposely distracted myself slightly so it would come in high, so it would have to slip. This is the type of land we don't normally do with passengers because it can be scary. There we go. Going back to Hannah 5, wire 207. We're 207, turn left at Bravo, Bravo, Charlie, Hangar 5, take care. Bravo, Charlie, take care, Hannah 5, wire 207. Thanks for that. There's the line. <laughs> Moth just got killed. <laughs> clear of the runway, clear of the runway. 
Three and up, flaps down. Well, thank you very much for joining and watching this flight and video and I hope it's been entertaining. I know it's been such a long time since so I did a good decent flight video. Trust me, I wanted to. It just wasn't possible for one reason or another. If it wasn't the weather, it was the planes. If it wasn't for the planes, it just... Health. <laughs> But really, that's all it is. That's all it takes. That's. I'll show you. I'll take a picture and I'll show you on the camera after. Yeah, I mean, even the go around was good practice because, like, um, like when. Your instructor checks to see if you are ready to do solo, they make sure that you are capable of doing a go-around. It kind of messed me up because I'm so used to air at miles per hour, I forgot this was freaking knots and I was treating it like miles per hour. That was just wrong. Yeah, not too wrong. B, that is. Because we, uh, in the flight school planes, it's, you want to land at 85 to 80 for me. I mean, it was really good practice for me, because I haven't done pattern work in months, if not, you know, no, I wouldn't say years, but like, at least half a year since I've done pattern work. I don't know if you can count doing RNAV approaches and such practice pattern work. Put the car heat on for a little bit before. Stop the engine. Okay, so just like before, but the opposite, I'm going to be the audio is going to switch from this camera to the camera ahead of me, so let's get the checklist. Nah. Oh, I don't really need it, but, you know. Radio master switch off, oh, I'll do that. Now, cup loose off. Set to one thousand. Extra idle cut off. And 
Master Radio Switch off. Automatically updated to the day one. We gotta change these to three for stop landings. And there we go. Now you one days. So by doing the night currency, it updated the day currency at the same time. So that's why you know to save you a little bit of money. Alright. So yeah, all of that now means I'm legal to fly passengers and they and day. So that's what this flight was all about. So as you can see, I'm a bit sweaty. So I'm gonna go home, keep the panda company, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Have fun.